Our consumer reporter, Janice Lieberman, giving us the real deal on what's needed and what's just a waste. College tuition is a huge tab, but then there's health insurance and housing and food and all these clothes. We have some ways you can cut costs. Kobe Rabinowitz is now off to Tulane. I'm really excited uh, for the academic aspect of college uh, to learn from all the professors and learn in uh, subjects that I'm truly interested in. Uh, I'm also really excited for the social scene. Heather Rabinowitz, a mom and a financial professional, says it takes time and planning to figure out how to shave money off the cost of college. Health insurance can run you into the thousands. You will be billed for the school's policy unless you act fast. It does take work, it does take time. You do have to make phone calls. If you do have a health plan, it probably is sufficient. But again, you need to make sure that you complete the waiver in, to request to opt out of the plan. Otherwise, you're automatically enrolled. Buying the most expensive meal plan is a waste. We're recommending that he goes with the plan that has meal swipes, but has more points. Because if you don't use the meal swipes, if you don't use it, you lose it. With the meal points, you actually um, can add additional points if needed, but they also transfer from fall semester to spring semester. But the biggest bill is tuition and housing. Saving with a 529 plan is the best tax-free way to put away money for college. You invest money and that grows on a tax-deferred basis. Then when you withdraw the money, you, um, as long as you use it for educational purposes, which it is earmarked for, that also is tax-free. You can even ask friends and family to contribute to the fund in lieu of birthday or graduation gifts. And if your child doesn't decide to go to college, you can pass that money on to a different family member. To save even more money, have your child meet with the college advisor and see if they can graduate a semester earlier. That'll save you thousands of dollars. Ask them to get a job to pay for their own entertainment. And don't send a car. You'll have to pay for parking and insurance and gas. I'm Janice Lieberman, and that's The Real Deal.